Okay? Yeah. But, um, you know, I think the other thing is people don't realise there's a trillion spirits out there. <laughs> they're all like Okay, up. and they're all wanting to come in at some stage yeah. usually. Yeah. So I might pick up one and you might be thinking, oh, I want my grandmother to come in, mm. but I might pick up your great uncle, mm. all right, and I'll be telling you about your great uncle, but you're going, no, no, that makes sense to me. And then twig. Yeah. Once you get into the truth of it, and then I can get the really nitty detail and things that you knew about them, okay, then it goes, oh, now I know who it is. And that happens a fair few times. Um, some people will have five spirits around them. Some will have one. Some will have a guide around them, you know. And it's not up to us who we get. But if you allow the time and tell, if the human tells the truth, you'll get the truth back. Mm -hmm. And that's what I, and I think that's absolutely beautiful. So isn't that saying something? <laughs> Absolutely it is. <laughs> yeah. Well, speaking nitty gritty, so mm. what do you see? What do you hear? What happens for you when you're picking up on those passed over? Okay, well, I go into like a semi-trance first mm. and it's, I, I go, in my eyesight changes, I get like double vision and then it's, um, you know, the 3D pictures? Yes. And you've got to, go, to get yeah. in and out of them to see the picture beyond the picture. Well, that's exactly what I do. I focus on in your face, but I lose your face and I go beyond your face. So I'm finding what's behind you in a sense. Mm -hmm. And then I just do that with the atmosphere. So um, a lot of people say my eyes go really funny when I do it, of course, because I'm trying to get my vision beyond the, the physical. Mm -hmm. And um, then depending on who you're communicating with, with what it feels like, of course. So I pick up the feeling of pain of how someone passed over. Mm -hmm. It's interesting because I've noticed when I talk to the souls, they start pretty much at the time of passing, at death, mm -hmm. and they work backwards. Mm -hmm. right? So first thing is they, I have to get to a point, it's like they uh, admit or um, accept that they've passed. Okay. Right? And, it's in, and the other thing I've learned is when I get a soul that doesn't accept that they've passed, they're stuck and I know there's a problem with the soul itself. Mm -hmm. So that's sort of become a bit of a thing with me now. The soul has to tell me how they died. So I know their transition's been made clear, okay? Because if you get one going, I'm not dead, I'm not dead, I'm, you know, they might be in the void, which is earthbound or something like that, and that's not actually really good for a soul. It's not evolving and mm -hmm. moving on. Mm. So they'll work backwards. So I get the uh, uh, visions, flashes of how people have passed over. They show me how they've died. I might see this, um, for an example, if it's a car accident, um, I would see um, the road, dirt road, gravel, um, tarmac, whatever it is, mm -hmm. the side of the road, if they went off the road. I actually have visions of it. It's like a short movie going in my head. Or I'd see a car veering that way. Um, if it's a car, sometimes I see a windscreen. And if I don't see a windscreen, I'm moving on. I'm thinking, all right, am I on a bike? Am I? Because I've sort of got to figure it out as well mm -hmm. as I go. Mm -hmm. um, the more practice, the more it's clearer to me in the understanding of it. So then I'd. Um, so I see everything pretty much. I see people that have hung themselves and. Some souls are very nice to me and don't show me all the gory bits, which I really appreciate. Mm -hmm. And then others just want to show me the whole detail of what they look like and everything. And it's mm, how is that for you? Know. I go, oh, okay. It's quite interesting that bit. I'll just finish where I get. Yeah, mm. I see. Yep. I feel. Uh, feel the pain. I get a gut instinct. I can hear voices with sound and then sometimes without sound, like radio waves. Mm. Um, and then there's just the knowing that. I'm, I know, yeah, it's right. And that usually comes with a feeling of, yeah, my heart opens up and I just know, yeah. Um, seeing the pictures, how does it affect me? Yeah, the really gory ones. A lot of people ask me that actually. Um, it doesn't, sometimes it does, not very often though, because it's like watching a movie. I'm a fanatic with movies, I love movies, because I believe movies, it must be someone's past life or future life or something, because Spirit said to me once, if someone can think it, it must be true. Mm -hmm. It must be in existence somewhere or it wouldn't exist, right? So to me, movies are fantastic things. And um, so that's what it's like. It's just, I put myself in an energy form where I'm just watching TV. I'm not being emotionally attached to it, you know, to the accident or, um, yeah, the gory bits, the blood and everything. Ugh. 
Uh, and I try and do that most of the time, but it, also I've spent hours crying for them too. Mm. So it it sneaks in, that emotion sneaks in at times. Um, but if I didn't block the emotion, if I didn't have, it's not blocking the emotion actually, it's just being um, controlling my own emotion. You know, enlightenment is controlling your emotion. So hopefully I'm being enlightened. <laughs> <laughs> On that enlightenment, we'll take a break and come back and hear more enlightened news about what happens out there in Deb's world. Stay with us. Mm -hmm.